Good afternoon and good morning. Well, here we are. We are Monday. We are at the start of the week. Can you believe it? Start of the week already. But look as well. 2nd of August. Gosh almighty. 2nd of August. Before you know it, the, uh, the stores are going to have the Christmas sweeties in. Not long <laughs> to go. But do you know what? We're still in summer. Oh, 145 days. Gosh, not long at all. Not long at all. I, I certainly think it's uh, allowed to uh, put the tree up and uh, watch Christmas films and listen to Christmas music. Not yet. No. Far too yet. early. A little bit, a little bit early. Do you know what we are allowed to be doing at the moment? And that's Christmas crafting. And that's something that we're going to be doing today. So will we uh, give you a little bit of a teaser? If you don't already know, as to what's coming up today on Crafters TV, we have got a craft along. I am back with my second favourite after a cartload. No, of course, including Wake Up Call, because that's my favourite show. Craft Along, being 3 o'clock here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. Pacific Time. We we're going to have a look at our 3D scene domes. We're going to be making a project with that one. We're also going to be having a look at that within Wake Up Call 2. And then with it being Monday, hence the name and the title, Monday Makers, I'm going to come back once again. You've got me all day, all day Thursday, all day Friday, all day today. Gosh, I feel sorry for you. That is today, Monday Maker, 7 o'clock here in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern Time or 11 a.m. Pacific Time. And guess what? We're back. We're all back together. Johnny's in the gallery. Woohoo! Woo! Charlotte's in the gallery. Oh, yeah! Woohoo! And he is not in the gallery. Woo! He's right by my side. Ben is here. Ben is here. Ben is here. Ben is here. Ben is here, here for, for two, two days. days. Hashtag part timer. Yeah, I'm back for two days. It feels like ages since I've been here, but it has actually been only, uh, well, it's actually been about nine days. But I've had a nice little break. Uh, thank you for all your comments and uh, messages whilst I was away. Managed to get back down to uh, Devon, where I'm originally from, see the folks for a bit. And uh, yeah, back here we are, ready and raring to go. And it is going to be another brilliant day. Uh, lots to look forward to, as Craig has just told you about. A brand new Get It Got It Good to chat about in just a bit as well. And as always, I get the easy job in this show particularly. Actually, I've got the easy job today uh, sort of right along the way because I get to sit back here during this show and read your comments and generally marvel at what you do. And then uh, for the craft along, I do exactly the same as well. Maybe we could shift me over here, Johnny, on the sofa for the craft along. I could sit here for the two hours. Do you think I could get away with that? Um, There's an idea. Yeah, potentially. I, yeah. I don't think you will. No. Uh, but anyway, I am here to look at your comments. And uh, also during this show, uh, we're going to be getting not just crafting tips from your man. Oh, no, no, no. We're also going to be getting some gardening tips as well, I believe. You're a little bit getting a bit green fingered, haven't you? Uh, yes. Yes. Green, fing green fingered as in taken the greenery out, yeah. not necessarily been putting them back in, but yeah, been, uh, as many of you already know, I've been doing my front garden. Right. So many of you have been asking to see it. There's been a reason I've not posted pictures, because me and Aaron wanted to do a little bit of a segment on here. Not so much how to, but it's going to see how uh, I've created the front garden, my front garden, and I've transformed it all by hand, by myself. A couple of the elements as well, using some of our uh, sp sticking spray, and well as our spray and sparkle. What, in your garden? In the garden. You've used the stick and spray and spray and sparkle in your garden? Yeah. Well, I will be interested to see that. And also interested, if you have done a good job, obviously I'm moving up here three weeks on Friday, so if I need some work done in the garden, you're the guy to, uh, to turn to. Yeah, but what I would say, if you're going to go for anything like stones or anything like that, you need a quantity uh, taken up. Don't go, don't go for me, because I've already had to uh, rebuy like four loads of stones, because I'm not good at working out how many bags. Oh, do you mean for like gravel? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You need more than you think, don't you? Yeah, well, I, I, I bought 20. Yeah. Wasn't enough. Yeah. So I bought another four. Yeah. Still wasn't enough. Oh. Well, I say it wasn't enough. It was enough, but I had a little bit left over. So I started to do it at the far edge of my front garden. Well, I only got halfway and I ran out, didn't I? 
So I am now waiting on one more bag to come and that'll be the last of it. So that should be here in the next couple of days. But that's the side, that's what you don't really see anyway. The main focus bit within the middle is what you're going to be seeing within Wake Up Call. Well, there you go. Something to look forward to. Craft tips and gardening tips along the way. And as I say, uh, make sure you get in touch and say hello. Let us know what you're up to today. Let us know where you're watching from as well. I already know that uh, Barbara from New Berlin is watching uh, Carol from Ohio and Monica from Detroit Lynn from Essex also with us uh, good morning good afternoon to you all keep those comments coming in and I will uh, read through them as we head through the show um, but what we got coming up we are going to be having a look looking at your comments as well Sarah Brown and Val also tuning in as well thank you so much so yeah so we're going to be having a look at the first item as to what's coming up on wake up call that also being part of the craft along and here we go you can see it coming up on your screen. This is our Gemini 3D scene dome collection. 21 elements in total with this one here. Now you can see all of those incredible scenes. And that's exactly what you can do, is create the scenes within this one here. 21 elements in total. Now today's price for that one is £32 or $37 for everything that you can see here. This is the sort of thing that you can be making. But if you are platinum, that comes all the way down to £25.60 or $29.60 for in this one here. Now, these are originally launched on the 12th, 12th of July, but then that one there. And also, just to say, on that today's price, you're actually saving 25%. So this is what is going to be featured as the Craft Along, 3 o'clock here in the, U in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. Pacific Time. So do go across onto the social media pages, for instance, Crafters Companion, mine, and have a look at the, uh, the shopping list we put together as to what you will need if you actually want to craft, a craft along later on. Don't forget as well, if you've not already got your hands on the craft along items, then uh, now's the opportunity and you can go back time and time again to watch the craft along and do that. Craft along to your heart's content. Of course it won't be live, but that doesn't matter. That just means that you get to do the pause and rewind and the fast forward and any of these little additional bits as well. So that's going to be part of the craft along. Then what we're going to do is we're going to be having a look at what's coming up in Monday Makers. And I adore these ones, so much so that I have brought them back as one of my picks for today. But what we're going to do is we're going to be using them as in a Christmas card. So we'll do a little bit of a different uh, take on this one here. We'll to show how the, well, all of them, one of them specifically, will do well as a Christmas card. So when it comes to these ones here, you can see them, all four of them, on your screen right now. So we've got the rows that you can see there. So it's a mix between the, the square, it's also a mix between the rectangles as well. We've got some hearts when it comes to these ones here. So saving over 20% on today's price works out that you buy three and you get one free. And they've not actually been seen since June time. So that's a Gemini frame stamp and die collection. Four piece with 43 elements because you've got some stamps in there as well. So 48.97 or 56.85. But platinum price is £39.18 or $45.48 for uh, you guys stateside. And as I say, it does work out that you're going to buy three and you get one free. So it can be, you might go for that one free or that one. Doesn't matter. Either way, you get all three. All, you get all <laughs> four, but it works out that you're getting, you buy three, you get one free. Do you what? know something? I, I just end up confusing myself. No. Why? Why did I do that? So that is what's coming up on Monday Makers. That's not the only thing though that's coming up on Monday Makers, and that is our cute character. This is our stamp and die collection. Cute character box dies. Go ahead and start that one and say. Cute character box dies collection with 73 elements in total. Now within this one here, 25 pound or 35 dollars, but platinum price comes all the way down to 20 pound or $28. Now, uh, here in the UK and Europe, for today's price, it works out you're saving 25%. USA, you're saving over 20%. But as I say, platinum comes down to £20 or $28. These are super, super cute. So, so easy actually to put together. You can get so, so creative when it comes to these ones here. So that is what's coming up within Monday Makers. So whether you're going to be crafting along with myself and Ben, 3 o'clock here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. Pacific Time, 
or you want to come back and you're going to tune into some Monday makers. So that being 7 o'clock here in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern Time or 11 a.m. Pacific Time, we've got a nice collection of stamps and dies. Now, when it comes to all of these products, there's quite a few of them, certainly within the stamp and die collection, you could be using something that launches today. Tell you what, do you know who's going to tell you all about it? The main man himself, over there. Um, thank you, Bob. I will tell you about that in just a second. Thank you for all the comments coming in, by the way. Uh, lots of you looking forward to the shows today. Monica says, hello, Ben and Craig. Looking forward to the shows and demos. Uh, Sarah's in saying, hello, Craig and Ben. Sending hugs your way. Hope you're both well. Uh, and Val saying, hi, Craig and Ben. Love these domes. Um, have them and love to see what you make. Uh, Val in Southampton. Uh, lots and lots of lovely comments coming through. But yes, it is my job to tell you what is coming up uh, as far as your Get It Got It Good is concerned this week. <laughs> oh, love. Uh, yes, right, it is the Gemini Mini. One of my favourite little machines. And basically the deal this week is you get the machine, uh, the folders and the shim, uh, and you get the bag for free. This is mini but mighty, and the amount of dies that you can get through this is phenomenal. And it's simple to use as well, which is the brilliant thing. Uh, that is today's uh, Get It Got It Good, and of course it runs for the rest of the week or whilst stocks last. <laughs> Sorry, uh, was, that was my fault that time. Uh, right, yes, keep those comments coming in. Uh, Val says, hi, Craig and Ben, loving these domes. I have them. Uh, love to see what you make with them. Good morning, says Lee. Uh, morning from Maine, Ben and Craig. Good morning to Maine, Lee Lee. Uh, looking forward to a crafting week. Uh, and Aisha says, good morning, everyone. I missed everyone whilst I was away on vacation, but it's great to be back to my CC family. Aisha, let us know where you went. I was on vacation last week as well. We can share vacation stories. Uh, get those comments coming in. But let us get over to Craig because we're going to have a look at this collection, the uh, Gemini 3D Scene Domes collection. First time I've really seen these in any sort of detail, so I am as excited as you are uh, to see how these work. Uh, Craig, tell us all about them. I will do indeed, and you saying there, first time you've seen them, picking up what Alison on YouTube is saying, I absolutely love these dome cars, they're a really nice size. And that's exactly what they are. They're dimensional, but they're a really nice size. So these are our Gemini 3D Seam Dome Collection. 21 elements in total. Now, today's price is £32 or $37. So really good saving on there. You can see that uh, here in the UK, £10.97, or you're saving $12.85. So within that one there on your Seam Domes, it works out you're saving over 25%. And they actually launched on the 12th of July. But after all of that, if you're platinum, it comes down even more to £25.60 or $29.60. Now, here in the UK, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com for you guys stateside, .eu for all of you guys across Central Europe. That's the place you need to go for all of your uh, prices in euros, and you will find them there. But these ones, Ben, I think you really are. You're going to love these ones. Yeah. They're so much fun because they're dimensional, but they do fold flat as well. But... You know what I like to do in a wake-up call? I like to try and show you a different way, and that's what we're going to do within this show. I'm going to show you a little bit of a different way in which you can use them. Okay. But here mm. is our very famous boards that you guys at home love seeing because it really does make a standout uh, piece as to what you're going to be getting. Now, you are going to get three sets, now three different images. Within this one here, which is O oh Christmas Tree, oh, you Christmas get the tree. Christmas tree and the presents. Now within this one, you also get the main, it's kind of like a snow globe. Yeah, this is. is the actual worker die. Mm -hmm. So you will need this one for all three of them. So as I say, you get the Christmas tree, all of these great different elements, different, you know, kind of standout elements, but you also get a stencil where you can then stencil the fireplace, Love the that. fire, do your own little wallpaper if you want. You've got the lights in that as well. So you can start to cherry pick sections and do whatever it is you want to do. All these little bits are key. These actually create the dimension at the left and the right. These actually even hide the little worker parts as well. Now, I know at first you're maybe thinking, I don't know what you mean by that. Between this show, but specifically within Craft Along, we'll show you how all they work. So that's the Christmas tree. Then Ooh. this is actually the one we're going to demo. And this is Christmas Village. 
So this is where you get all of the elements to create the village. Look at the shooting star. Look at the shooting star. Okay. I know, it really is cool seeing the shooting star. Yeah. So if I come back into this one again, see what I mean by the main worker die? Uh -huh. That's what you get within the Christmas tree. So we're not repeating that same die time and time again. There's no point. All that that does is throws up the cost. Why, why do that when you only need it once? Yeah. So therefore, within this one here, Christmas Village, you get the elements to create exactly that. The village, you get the stencil, and then you get the shooting star, as well as this little tag. This could be a tag, or it could be for your sentiments. So you get that one, and then away in a manger. Cute. Same concept again. You get your different levels to create your scenes, but then what you've got is you've got your stencil to create the scene of Bethlehem if you want to, or you know it could be a number of occasions. Little stars here. Now to you on the screen, it does look like little bits of snow. Yeah. It's actually, tiny, tiny little stars. Cute. So so cute. So you can then of course create that scene that you can see down in the bottom. Three wise men, you've got the star and your little banner tag as well. So that's what you're getting within the set. Then these enable you to create super cute and super cool fun cards. Now first and foremost, now when I say it folds flat, relatively flat, yeah. please give a, you know, take into account maybe, you know, like a few uh, millimetres or so. But if I then open it up, this is where you've got that dimensional aspect. So you can see that you can build up from the front to the back. So you've got your front element, then the actual uh, Mary and Joseph, baby Jesus, that's in the middle. And then right at the back is your base platform where you can do your inking and stenciling. But if I come round to the side, so this is where in there is the actual worker, but you get all the little dies to cre create the hiding aspect of all of these. So the team really have thought of everything when it comes to the set snow yeah. globe or 3D scene. So you've got your wise men, so once again, coming in here. So you can be doing your craft card. Of course, that's going to work a treat for this sort of scene. But then what you can do, bring your inks in. Oh, I love that. Get all glittery. But then what you can also do is you can create your own depth as well as if you want to. Yeah. So if you want to make it really stand out, then you can do. Bring in your scoreboards and then look at this one that as well cute. with the scene. Yeah. Isn't that super cute? But what I'm also saying, you don't have to use the worker die that creates that dimension. If you want to do it with foam pads or glue gel, you absolutely can. Lots of different ways that you can create them. And then we're going in with the Christmas tree that we can see here. So you can still do your glitter cards if you want to, your mirror and mat card, but you can create your own background. Do your own fireplace that you can see here. And then once again, we've got these ones here, creating the wallpaper with a stencil, creating the brickwork, creating the lights that you can see that hang down. They're so fun, so dimensional, and the fact that they fold relatively flat is such a bonus as well for sending and posting them out when it comes to these ones here. So I think what we'll do is you can give me a second or two to finish mm. getting set up, Ben, and we can come back and we can show you another way in which you can use them on your cards. I've got a funny feeling. I think I know what the other way might be, uh, but I won't spoil it. But I just think these are brilliant. How cool are these? And as you know, if you're looking at these as a newbie and you're thinking, oh, I bet these are going to be difficult to do, you'll see in just a second how easy it is to be able to create these amazing cards. And again, it's just more in your crafty armory, isn't it, to create those really, really beautiful Christmas projects. 2560 today or 2960 if you're a Platinum member. Uh, and of course, this is the show to get in nice and early because you know that it gets busier later on and we always chat about this show being like the sneaky peek show and I think lots of you do tend to get up early so that you can get in before everyone else wakes up late, uh, later on uh, and decimates the stock so if you like the idea of this you're making a big saving today wherever you are uh, you know even if you're just shopping with a set for the first time today 
uh, you're making a big saving on this collection. It's the kind of thing that you'll come back to uh, year in, year out. Lots of love for these as well. I'm noticing that uh, a lot of you said you've already got these. If you haven't, as I say, it's a great day to get them. Alison just saying on YouTube, I absolutely love uh, these dome cards. They're a nice size. Uh, and Pamela saying these would make a cute little 3D storybook. So many different things that you can do with these. And I love the fact, again, that we've got all of those different uh, Christmas scenes. Kathy's just said, I need to get these out and have a play. Looking forward to Craig's inspiration. Well, talking about his inspiration, shall we get some from the main man himself? All right then, Craig, inspiration please. Let's go for it. And uh, just to answer Carl's question on Facebook, will these work with the MIDI? Yes, they will. They'll work with the MIDI and they'll work with the Junior, of course being the same size, but then the la uh, they will work with your larger machines as well. So these are wafer thin dies, so not just the Gemini, any die cut machine that you've got size wise, going to work a treat for your MIDI or your Junior. So let's go for it. So what I want to do is I want to create my backdrop first of all because I'm going to stencil onto this one. So what I've done is I've taken my white smooth stamping card. Now I'm going to use the Christmas Village. So this is where you get your couple of levels to create the scene and the stencil. But remember I was saying with the Christmas trees, the one that you get the worker die. So I've gone in with the Christmas tree, yeah. but I need the worker die and I also need this inner part. Now for this one, I'm not going to use it in the way that I've showed you. We'll be doing that in Craft Along. But if you were wanting to do them in the concept way they're designed for, you would need this little die. And what that does is that die cuts, but also scores where you could come, come along kind of like concertina these lines. Uh -huh. And then these little square ones, that's what would hide the little workings at the side. All of that, in the conventional way, we'll show you in Craft Along. But what we are going to do with this one is let's go in with the die itself. I'm not going to go in with any other aperture part just now for this one, because this is what we're going to stencil onto. So we can very, very simply pop it onto our plates. We can then run it through our Gemini. And then what I've also done is I have brought in some water reactive inks, going in with some anthracite as well as some pine tree. So what we can do is if we bring these in, and then there is our backdrop already. So this little part here with the tabs, that is what's going to create that scene element. But because I'm not using them in that way, what I'm going to do is down the little embossed score line that you can see. I'm going to snip them off. So following it down, snipping it off, and then this is a way in which you could make it as a crafty snow globe in itself. Something that ours might end up looking like in a moment or two. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back in and I've brought in a piece of our uh, smooth navy card from our 12 by 12. Mm -hmm. So for this one, Ben, what I'm going to do is I actually only want this level here. I don't want this top level. So this is where you can really go to town on the different looks that you can get by using all of them or one of them, lots of different ways. So what I need, still again, the worker die. Yeah. I need this inner aperture part here. And then what happens, that die cuts all the way around and then this die, die cuts all the way around, but it stops at the left and the right. So that's where, when we come and pop them together, we can see just in that bottom left-hand corner and the right-hand corner where the two dies meet together. And that's what creates the aperture. So if you are not very confident about doing them all together, what you could do is you could die cut the main backdrop first of all, yeah. then come along with this inner part and then start to die cut this one separately. Okay. If you feel more comfortable doing that, then you can absolutely do that. Don't forget as well, and um, worth checking our socials because we have got the craft along with this later on as Craig is saying, if you want to join in with it and you've already got this kit, you can see the little, um, I always call it like your little recipe, you know, what you need, your ingredients. Uh, for the yes, checklist is a better better phrase, uh, Johnny. Uh, but the checklist is online for you, so you can get involved with that a little bit later on uh, 
three o'clock here in the UK, 10 o'clock East Coast. Uh, and we will, I believe, uh, be joined by a special guest as well. Uh, Jenny's going to be joining us um, to craft long weeks, which is quite nice. So there'll be three of us for the two hours, and hopefully you'll be joining in as well uh, and sending in all of your pictures. Fabulous. Do love a craft along, Craig. It's fun, isn't it? Yeah. It's good to just be able to stand and craft at a slow pace yeah. with all of you at home. And the craft along I'd done the other day with the gnome collection. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. The amount of you that done it, not necessarily live, but you were doing them over the weekend and you were tagging myself and Crafter's Companion in the mm -hmm. post. That was so, so good to see. Gnomes are very on vogue at the minute, aren't they? On the, trend. They are. They yeah. really, really are. And it was lovely to see so many of you made your craft along project exactly the same way as I done mine. Yeah. But then there was some of you that changed it completely and done different collections or different colours. So that's always good to see as well. Yeah. So uh, when it comes to today's craft along, make sure you send in your pictures after. Award nominated as well, don't forget. Exactly. That an award nominated crafter on an award nominated show with some other bloke there as well. Yeah. Some, some, <laughs> some did, some did. <laughs> now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go in with my stencil. So this one, what I've done Ben, is chopped off the edges once again. Yeah. And then we've got that one scene now. So we're going to set that one to the side. Let's go in with our snow globe. So what I'm going to do with this one is let's go in. So I want to go with the mountains to start with. So I'm going to go in this way. So I'm going to feed that one under and I'm going to go in with a little bit of anthracite water reactive and you can use your low tack tape but I like to just use a low tack stencil tape because mm -hmm. what it does as well is it will cover this top part because I don't want any ink on this top part just yet. Yeah. So I'm going to go in so if I secure that one down and then once I secure this top stencil in, they are. It's cool how we're adding stencils to a lot of our kits now as well. Just, it's good. It makes them go even further, doesn't it? It does. Really does make it go a lot further than uh, before. Mm. But then the fact is, because you can use them elsewhere as well. Yeah. You don't just have to use them within a collection like this. You can then come in and then you can start to do all your different scene building if you want using the stencils. But what I'm also doing as well, Ben, is I'm not blending the colour out. I'm dabbing. And that's because I like this kind of stapled effect yeah. going in. So it's going in for a real uh, brushy sort of look. And then what I can do is then once I come in, don't necessarily have to come all the way down because the bottom is going to be covered using our scene, but goes to show how you can start to do it in this way. Speed dab in there. Speed dabbing. Yeah. Is that, is that still a thing outside of craft, by the way, the dab? Or is dabbing? That not, is I don't that know, cool actually. Any, is that not cool anymore? I no, don't know. Cool. Charlotte's just gone, no. 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 <laughs> Kid, kids don't do it. Kids don't do the dabbing. Not apparently. anymore, the dab. That's the floss now, isn't it? That's what it is. Oh, floss. Is that even a thing? That was a couple of years ago, apparently, Charlotte ah. says. Was Johnny, it? you should know, with Leon. <laughs> uh, Johnny's got, how old's your lad? Johnny's seven, isn't he? He does he does the loser dance. That's off um, that gate. That's off Fortnite, isn't it? Yeah, that's that. that it's that one, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I know. I've I've had that thrown at me quite a few times. Not is it from, actually a dance? Son, or, oh, it is. Yeah, there's a video game, isn't there? And all the characters have their own like dances that they do, and one of them has the little loser dance. Right. <laughs> I just thought it was a really supportive dad calling the son loser at dancing. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'd love to see you doing it, Johnny. <laughs> John. Oh dear. Yeah. All right. Well, at least we know now. At least so we know. We're not, we're not dabbing. We're not flossing. We're just. I wonder at home. Do you have any uh, kids or grandkids that have got any dance moves that they like <laughs> to do? There might be some in America that's not got across here yet. Did you dab? I think the dab was the, the dab came from America, didn't it? I think it did. Short sure, sure is an American football player who, sure. who started that. Uh, and then the, the floss was from, uh, yeah, I'm sure that was from Fortnite, but yeah. Let us know what the cool dance moves are and maybe we'll, um, we'll bust a few moves later on. Later on, we'll get Johnny in as well. That's brilliant, by the way, Craig. Look at Look that. Look at that. Fab. 
So I went over with the anthracite first, with the mountains, then I went over with grasshopper. And you see how, by going with that darker shade last, you don't see any of that grey underneath, so you can start to build it up. What I'm going to do, under my trick-or-treats of ink pads, I'm going to go in with... Now, this is a, a colour from a previous Christmas collection last year, Silent Night, but it's very close to midnight. Don't have midnight underneath here, so this one will do. Then what I'm going to do is let's go in and I'm going to go in, I'm going to dab in with my, uh, what we're going to, let's say it's midnight. And then what I'm going to do is just pop it through and I'm being careful that I don't want to go over the mountains. Yeah. But do you know what? It wouldn't really matter if you did. It's going to create that backdrop and back, background and foreground sort of look. Oh, is that what this... Is that the stars? So this, this is actually snowfall. snowfall. This is tiny, tiny little circles yeah. on this one that creates the snow. But as you said there a minute ago, you could use the star from the Three Wise Men mm -hmm. and use that instead if you wanted to. Mix and match, it's a good thing to do. But let's go into as many of these as we can. And then what I can do is if I take that one away, we're starting to get that snowfall. Cute. But once again, you could carry on that down so that it starts to look as though the snow's coming down the mountains, but yeah. between the mountains and the hills. That's up to you. So there's that one now. So if we come back in with our main scene here, let me get a very quick bit of blue roll just to clean that ink off. So if we come in with this one, now, what I've already done is either using the Hunky Dory Snowfall Acetate Beautiful. or the Snowfall Acetate that you get within our uh, Nature Garden Gnome collection. Oh, yep. I've popped a piece on the back there using red liner tape. So if I get a bit of black card as well so that you can see, just so you can see, see how we've got that snowfall oh, effect. that's brilliant. So what I can then do, set that one to the side, and then what I would also do, now I don't have any of my faux snow with me, but what I'll do is I'll show you what I had done, is using my glue and my little applicator, mm -hmm. I started to apply it to the top of the mountains and then I would come down. So very much, you know like you would do shading with either your tri-blends or your classiques, mm -hmm. picking out where you would feel it's going to be lighter. In other words, where the snow... So what are you putting on there? Just glue? So, yeah. So um, what I would do is I would use our faux snow and yeah. put that on afterwards. Oh, I see. I don't have my faux snow with me, but I just want to show you how I would apply the glue and where I would do the glue. No faux snow. But no. But in saying that, this would dry clear. So it's going to give me a little bit of a glossy highlight effect. All oh, right. So sort of faux faux snow. Yeah. Icy, icy, could be icy. I see. So I'm not overly concerned that by the time that I finish today's wake-up call, this will be dry but clear. It's I just very, to show you. the scene you've created, not that I've seen it, but it, it, it's sort of very Game of Thronesy. Do you know what I mean? Very sort of... I can see, I've um, never watched it, but... Fantasy, yeah. kind of otherworldly, that scene. I don't know why. I, I can see where you're coming like from. Eerie. So what I would do is dunk that into uh, the bag of the faux snow, yep. and then I would end up Ooh. with this one. So you can see with the anthracite, I've not gone as heavy handed on this one. Mm. And actually, this one, sorry, this one was grasshopper. This one that I'd done just a moment ago, that was pine tree for that one there. But you can see we've got the faux snow on the mountains. So let's then go into our main card. So last week on one of our shows where I had our, I think it was Wake Up Call or one of the shows, we had some of Sarah's glistening snowflake. Oh yeah. Now I wasn't able to put the full card together so I thought right let's pinch the background for this one and then we can use it. So I'm going to pop this in to the middle of my navy again and we're going to layer it up and this could easily be six by six, seven by seven. But seeing as I already had this eight by eight done, I thought, let's use it. It's got the snow in the back. So let's take our backing off and then we go in. Is there a time now that we are into August, Ben, is there a time that you feels acceptable to 
watch Christmas films? Not August. Not August. <laughs> I, I, I kind of... I reckon we probably start watching our first um, our first Christmas movie around about October time. Uh -huh. it, it's very much led by my kids in my household. Whenever they sort of decide the the, the one which um, that they like. Well, Home Alone's always there, but also have you seen Nativity? Yeah, that's such a great movie. Um, so that that one normally comes out fairly early on. Um, but yeah, October time. But I, in my little mind, my marker is once you've done with Halloween, yep. and then once you've done with um, Bonfire Night, yep. then I think it's, it's acceptable from about the 6th. Exactly. Um, yeah. I do put some Christmas films, maybe sometimes some Christmas music on when I'm prepping, like okay. in June and July and that, because let's be honest, trying to make Christmas when it's roasting hot can be hard sometimes. Don't have your Christmas sweater on then? So, no. No. No, I don't. But when, when do you first watch your first Christmas movie then? Uh, or well, just a second? <laughs> over, well, over the weekend, uh, here in the UK on E4, yeah. uh, Home Alone was on Saturday and Home no, Alone 2 wasn't. was on yesterday. You're joking me? No, not. So uh, I did watch them, but we all know Home Alone 2 is my favourite film ever, yeah. not yeah. just Christmas film. The thing is, yeah, you don't, like, uh, it's nice to watch a few, but like, when December rolls around, you want to have all of the, cla you don't, don't want to have w watched them already, do you, by the time December rolls around, you want to kind of ease your way in so that by the time you're sort of hitting the week up towards Christmas, you can then watch all of the classics, like your Home Alones and your Elfs and, uh, of course, your uh, Jingle All The Way. Oh, one yeah. Of the, one of the best ones. Good old Arnie. Yeah. It's my favourite one. Yeah. There's someone in, someone in the building that's a good impression of one, but I can't remember who is it is. Yeah. I don't know who that is. don't know who it is. I don't know who that is. Now, here we go. So I've created a shaker. Now, this could be glitter, it could be seeds or that. I've just taken what are tiny little microbeads. They're tiny, tiny, tiny. And they just give that impression of snow, as well as having that faux snow in the background. Yeah. Works a treat. So let's go, and I'm going to use my tacky glue for this one just so that I don't squash my image with my tape runner or that so what I can do with this one is I can come along I'm going to pop that within really the cute. middle uh -huh. and as I said before Ben this would work easily on a 6x6 card as well or a 7x7 but let's press that one and then what I've also done already is using the shooting star that you get within the set I've die cut it out in a little bit of gold mirror card. So let's come in with this one. Mm -hmm. And let's go for, I'm going to pop that there. And then also what I've done is I've taken some of our stamp sentiments that came with our great big kind of creator cards the other week there. You got a sentiment set with them. So what I've done is I am using one of them and then let's pop Let's pop it. I want to have it kind of suspending. So I'm going to add some glue along the top here. And then I'm going to pop that into the middle here. And that's all that I'm going to do. Press that into place. And then there we go. That's pretty fab, isn't it? We've got a different take in how you can use our 3D scene, scene dome collection within this one here. That is so amazing um, and a great way to be able to use that differently Absolutely. to how you see it be used. Just a Absolutely. few, just a few questions yeah. um, which have come in. Um, Pamela says, Craig, could you, t could you turn this into a three layer shaker or would it ruin the effect? No, no, you, you could do. Uh, you can make it in a three layer shaker. What you can then do is basically repeat what I've done, but then you can then have it so that that additional layer is maybe slightly further up if you wanted to. Yeah. Or, you know, you could have it so that you've got quite a depth when it comes to the side if you want to do a multitude of layers. So it's certainly uh, doable, it really is doable. Um, and one which came in, at, I think right at the start, which I've just missed, Sharon said, I really struggle with getting the ends right. Uh, is that like the ends of like making the actual worker part of it? Do you think? It must be. It must be. What, yeah. Any tips that, with that? So within that one there, where have I got? So it is. It is just the case a die cut in these. This is what we'll be doing within the craft along. Yeah. So if you are having any issues or that with them, then uh, do tune into the craft along. We'll show you them. 
But this is what are the ends. This is what's going to create that depth of the scene instead of using foam pads or glue gel. And then, as I say, you do have that little square to hide the workers. Yeah. So do come back and have a, have a watch of uh, Craft Along, and that will be featured within the Craft Along. We'll show you what you can do with them. Great stuff. And then um, just lots of love for that demo as well. Um, and actually, uh, a few people chatting about um, when it's okay to watch Christmas movies. Kim just saying, my husband watches Home Alone over and over again. It drives me mad. That's one of those movies that I feel like I could watch over and over again, though. Uh, Teresa says, I was watching Christmas movies on the Hallmark Channel oh, in yeah. July. Uh, Monica saying, ha, 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 we started to watch Christmas movies already because they can be so funny, like Home Alone 1, 2, and Santa Claus 1, 2, and 3. And a lot of Americans as well asking um, what bonfire night is. I, yeah, I guess it's quite a British thing, isn't it? So we celebrate on the 5th of November um, here in the UK. It's like the commemoration of the, um, the gunpowder plot, which was foiled in, I want to say it was 1605? Basically, it was Guy Fawkes uh, and a load of conspirators trying to blow up the Houses of Parliament and they were stopped. And so it's the celebration of the fact that we're celebrating that that didn't happen. And um, so we have fireworks night on the 5th of November because uh, that was when it happened. I'm sure Johnny will check that. I want to say that. 1605, yep, yeah, just after four o'clock. Um, so that's what that is all about. Um, yeah, and uh, Leslie just saying, a beautiful card, Craig. We'll give that a go when my collection arrives. Lots of you as well asking about that craft along. Yes, you need to join us at three o'clock here in the UK, 10 o'clock on the East Coast. But in the meantime, if you want to see what you need and what we're going to be making, if you go to our socials, you'll see everything uh, right there. If you haven't yet got the kit, you can get it right now at that price if you're platinum. And then, of course, you've then got the craft along to come back to because it will stay there for you on our various channels. The best thing to do is subscribe to us on YouTube. Um, you can uh, then uh, whack the uh, craft along on your playlist and you've got it there for when you get your goodies. Monday Makers is coming a little bit later on as well. Seven o'clock tonight, uh, two o'clock East Coast. Our Monday mega deal uh, is the um, Classiques. We've got the um, 48 piece collection. So you've got 12 pens within each set. And basically, again, this deal is brilliant for the fact that you buy three and you're gonna get the fourth one for free. So you've got your industrial and your cityscape. You've also got your uh, design and textile as well. And these are brilliant for the fact that they are um, alcohol pens. You've got your chisel nib on these uh, and you've also got your fine nib with these two. So if you've been thinking about going for the classics, great deal on those on Monday Makers, uh, £47.98 or $71.88 if you want to jump in and grab those. And we'll look at those in more detail a little bit later on this evening uh, or this afternoon. Right, lots more to come. Uh, do keep those comments coming in. But as promised, we thought we would uh, chat a little bit about uh, not just craft but about gardening over the course of this show because um I mean, it makes me wonder how he's got enough time to do all of this because obviously Craig's here uh, every weekday doing the show, then he's always at home getting ready for all the shows and crafting away. Um, but but you've um, obviously spent a bit of time doing some gardening recently. And just before we uh, have a look at your pictures and whatnot, have you have you always sort of been into doing a bit of home improvement and you know doing up, doing up your own home? I've always been into, and I always do enjoy doing inside home improvement. Yeah. I, I am, I'm not green fingered at all. I know you're, you've seen when, um, obviously last year, I was meant to go to New York, but obviously with everything, couldn't go. So therefore I got the back garden done. I got some decking done. Uh, so I'm not green fingered in having plants or that because I, they just don't last last for me. But I have always had that, that thought that, you know, when you get your, your own place, your own house, mm. I want to have a nice garden. I want to at least, drive up to the house and then first thing you see something really nice other than maybe weeds or bushes or something like that. So you said, you know, you wonder how I have time to do it. It took quite a few months to get it done. It took quite a few months to try and kill the weeds, make sure they were killed. And then uh, maybe I would plan on doing something one day and maybe get called in here for whatever reason or hard prep or that. So it did take a wee while, but got it finished, uh, well, pretty much last week and boy, I'm over the moon with how it looks. So, so you did the back guard and then it was a case of like, well, if the back guard's yeah. done, got to get the front gun done. Yeah. Um, so let's have a look at these because we've got some pictures of yeah, yeah. your garden renovation. So um, th this is what your place looked like before you got started, right? So what was the, what was the thought here? Yeah. 
yeah, so uh, so you've seen on this picture here, and also uh, just going back to what you said as well with the front garden, I wanted to do it myself. Yeah. I, you know, I didn't do the back garden, but the front garden, I actually wanted to do it myself. So this is where, uh, when I first moved in, you can see we've got some of, uh, on the ground there, you can see we've got some bark in that. I'm never a big fan of bark, but no. priority wasn't the front garden. And those bushes in there, some of them smelt nice, but took ages to actually maintain. So yeah. I just wanted rid of them. What, so, what were they? So I kind of had like a lavender-ish, oh, yeah. lemony lavender sort of feel yeah. uh, or scent to them. So, so you wanted those out and the bark gone? Yep, so that's what we've done. And then oh this was one day, Ben, I went out, I told you the story, didn't I? I went out to um, cut down the bushes yeah. and ended up taking them all out. Yeah. So we've got, like you can see on the screen there, so that was me taking up all the, the bushes and all the weeds. What, so the initial plan was just to trim the bushes, was it? Just to trim it, yep, just to trim them down. Uh, my plan was obviously to take them out, but yeah. not on that day. Okay. So I trimmed all the bushes and I ended up taking them all out. So that was how it was looking. Okay. Then I got to the point where uh, I had to make sure that the weeds were definitely dead. Oh, right, okay. to make sure. So made sure after week after week, made sure that the weeds were definitely out, they were dead. Were you just going back and like treating it and spraying yes. it? Yeah, yeah, just spraying it constantly. And then what I'd done was I took took some of the, uh, I can never remember what it's called, but like it's the, like weed the black weed mat and sort of stuff. Yeah. Stops any sunlight, anything like that getting through. Mm completely kills the weeds for sure, any remaining bits. So I started to put these little lights that I bought from certain shopping channel here in the UK. I uh, started to put them ones in because they're really, really strong and they're um, not fiber optic, what do you call it? Oh, solar, solar lights. Yeah. Solar lights. And that was just some of the bags of stones that I'd ordered. So not while, enough. Not enough. <laughs> While I got those into position, yeah. what I then went to do was I had purchased this clock oh, yeah, out of the range. Now, what you'll see coming up just shortly, instead of getting some of the brickwork that I, or stonework that's like a 90 degree angle put mm. four together to create a circle, I thought, why not get one of these big, huge clocks out the range? And what I'd done is I took out the workings, then using our spray and varnish, the green lid, I gave it a really good spray, really good coating. Then, once it was dry, so it only took minutes, I went over with our spray and sparkle with gold. Now, it's a subtle sparkle, but it's really quite nice at nighttime or daytime when mm. the light hits it, gets that little bit of a gold sparkle. So the plan was for it to look like what it actually does look like now. Ooh. So that's in the, the front garden, of course. Is that a working fountain? So no, it's just a bird bath. Oh, bird bath. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to have a little fountain, but then I thought, ah, nah, let's just go for the bird bath instead. So I had to level out the clock, of course, and just reinforce it slightly with some wood. But then at night time, that you can see, that's how we've got it looking that you can see down. So, uh, so lights, cool. uh, the back there, those pyramids again, you can see so, also from so a certain shot and channel. Are they solar powered then, or are they on a timer? So the uh, pyramid ones, yeah. they are, they're on a timer, but they're battery operated, but for outside, oh, okay. inside or outside, they've got a protective covering uh, underneath. But then, yeah, the, the little dot ones, you can just see one of them to the left-hand side there, that is uh, solar. Um, and really strong solars that you can see within there. So, Mate, that's um, brilliant. Yeah, took me took me quite a while to do it, time-wise, of course, working around the job, but so, so chuffed with how that how it looks, but being me being doing it, you know, because yeah. you could have got someone out to do it and that, which I just thought, no, I wanted to actually do something yeah. uh, within the outside of the house yeah. to achieve it myself. So, yeah, really chuffed with how it looks. And it just goes to show within certain elements what you could do. Have a look within your crafty stash. You know, I've used the spray and varnish, you know, on top of the clock. Could have used a, a, a natural, you know, like a tub of varnish or that and paintbrush. But I thought our uh, spray and varnish would do it just as well. Yeah. And then obviously giving it that little bit of a sprinkling. So either the daylight or at night time, when, when you walk and you walk past, you get that little sprinkling, that little sparkle of gold coming through. Works really well. It goes to show as well, actually, because my um, sister-in-law, um, when they moved into the house that they're in now, had never done anything like that before. But then she decided, like you, she was like, oh, well, actually, you know, I want to get all this stuff done. So she just went online, found a few yeah. tutorials, you know, ended up doing loads within her house, like you know, tiling and grouting. Then she uh, then decided to go outside, build her own patio. And she did all this stuff, and she built up all of these skills. And it's like we always say with um, crafters, isn't it? Like, 
having a look at the videos that we have, giving something a go, giving it a try yeah. and sort of upskilling, because th that's not something that you would normally do. No. But then you've kind of upskilled yourself and now you, you know, you can well, start your own little side hustle. Come round my house and sort out my garden for me when I move in. Yeah, as long as you're not in any rush, then uh, it'll be fine. We could uh, get them done. But I was really, really chuffed with uh, how it turned out, you know, and knowing that obviously it was me that done it. And the thing is as well, you know, I wanted to do get as much locally as I mm. could. Um, but things, you know, we're all on a cost, you know, nowadays, certainly with everything that's going on, have a budget and that. So I had a few things I had to get uh, sent in, but then like the water feature and that I got from a place literally, you know, a few minutes around the corner and that. So yeah, really pleased with the way that it, it looks um, both the, the spotlights and that pyramid lights is from that shopping channel that has three initials in it. Oh, yes, I know what you that mean. one, yeah, ABC, yeah, yeah. starts yeah. with Q and yeah. ends in C, and yeah. it has a V in the middle, yeah, that one, good stuff. Well, there you go. Um, <laughs> great pictures, yeah, great inspiration as well, right? Uh, do uh, get in touch, let us know if uh, you've also. Uh, done a bit of gardening, tried your hand to something a little bit different. Uh, as you know, I'm moving up here in three weeks' time. Uh, the, the garden should be okay because we're moving into a new house, but uh, my plan is to um, build a bar in the garden awesome. out, of, um, out of pallets. So that, that's going to be my job. Hot tub? Uh, we've already got a blow up hot dog. Oh, ha hot, hot, hot tub. Hot, hot dog. No, hot, hot tub. Dog. Did I say hot, hot dog? Hot dog, have you? We've got a blow up hot dog for the hot tub. Uh, yeah, so it'll be all around my place. So you can definitely come around. Seeing as you're so handy, you can help me come and uh, build the, uh, the bar. And Johnny says he'll come around and help me drink the beer. Sounds He's good. a great friend, isn't he, eh? Uh, listen, uh, if you've got stuff in your baskets right now, let's give you a chance to check out, uh, and we will come back with more of your comments and lots more to show you as we kind of preview your day here on Crafters TV. And we'll be back in just a couple of minutes. We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges, and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new Express express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Welcome to Club Inspire the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Well, there's some lovely messages coming in. Uh, lots of people loving having a bit of a look around Craig's garden. I did this too, uh, as well, actually. Uh, Bernie Starnlecker just saying, I put a small pond in my backyard myself uh, years ago, and I still have it and love it. It's always that sense of achievement, isn't it? It's nicer when you've done it to be able to look out your windows and think, yeah, I did that. Uh, Pamela Evans just saying, I don't have a green thumb, but I've managed to keep succulents, uh, cactus, aloe, and a lavender plant alive, uh, probably because they don't require a lot of watering. Those are my kind of... Uh, 
plants as well, Pamela. Uh, Lynn Harvey just saying, looks lovely, Craig. You've done a great job. Uh, Sarah Brown saying, your garden is beautiful, Craig. Great job. And Busy Lizzie on YouTube says, oh, wow, Craig, that is looking great. There is no end to your talents. Uh, I love my garden too. So there you go. Yes, if uh, you're ever in need of uh, getting your garden sorted, I mean, there you go. There's, there's your man. He'll come and do your garden and he'll make you a card to celebrate as well. Talking about making cards, we need to get back over to the creative side of the studio. We're nearly an hour into the show already. I Where's know. that time gone? Where's that it's time gone? Absolutely flown in, isn't it? Mon yeah. All shows seem to fly in, but yeah, something about a Monday. Usually, in the past, you know, you would think that Mondays tend to drag. Yeah. But they don't hear on Not uh, here. Crafters TV, the Not fly here. in. When I say in the past, I mean like my old job before I started here. Always dragged on a Monday, yeah. but not here. Flies in. Right, here we go. Let's have a look. This is uh, what we've got coming up on Monday Makers. And I wanted to uh, kind of showcase it within uh, today's wake-up call. This is the Gemini Frame Stamp and Die Collection, where in total you're getting 43 elements because you've got... So, you right there? I was, I was just counting. I was like, is there that many within it? 40, 43? Must be, because all the stamps must be. Uh, uh, 10, 20, 30. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah, it says on the packet, doesn't it? 11, 10, 11, 11. 21. Why, 32, why would 43. I? 43. Why would I question the guys? Why that would you? That's absolutely right. 43 elements in total. So today's price being 48.97. Or 56.85 for you guys stateside. Works out that you're saving. Are you ready for this? You're saving over 20% on today's price. Also works out that you buy three, you get one free. And what? Buy three, you get one free. <whistles> I know, I know. But then that's not even it. No? No, doesn't. That is not even it. What? That is. Comes down even more if you are platinum. Don't oh, know yeah. Where I was going with that one there a minute ago. Yeah, I was going out of one pattern and it just stopped me. Not only that, but Craig comes around and does your garden for you for free. Now, that is not true. No. Doesn't do that. 39.18 here in the UK, 45 dollars, 48 for you guys stateside. Of course, you are across Europe. You just need to go to .eu. All your prices will be there in euros. But let's have a look at these. And there's a reason I wanted to bring these ones uh, in, although they've not been seen for uh, a wee while now. More specifically, it is uh, since June, June on yeah. my notes here that we've not seen them since. What I wanted to do is, since we've released them and launched them, of course, we do lots of things for birthdays and anniversaries and that. I want to show you how you can still use them for Christmas as well. So let's have a look at the first ones, first of all. This one being the love heart. So this is Loving Frame. Now you've got your main die, and this cuts into your card, but we give you the outline die as well, so it cuts out of your card. Then what we're going to do is we give you these stamps as well. Now these sentiment stamps work in conjunction with the love die that you get. So you yeah. can have love you, you, or love is all that matters. So you can see where you can have a little bit of fun when it comes to the sentiments. Uh -huh. So that's the love and frame. Then what we've got within this one here, we have got our floral. So this is our floral opulence frame on this one here. So this has uh, got the birthday, but then you've got girl, boy, to you, it's your happy wishes and celebrations. Mm -hmm. So you can work that die in together. Then we've got on this one here, our daisy frame. Like that one. It's really nice, this one, cute. isn't it? Very cute. Really nice within this one here. And again, same concept with that sentiment die and the sentiment stamps. And then this one here that we're actually going to be using, this one being botanical frame. Nice size, you can see here. Same idea, you've got the friends, but then what you've got is all of these sentiments at the top as well, that you could have friends are hard to find, or you could have two, or best friends, or forever friends, lots of different ways you can use these ones. These ones as well, Ben, really good for paper piecing, mm. if you like that idea. So that is the four sets that you've got, but then what you can do is you can then make lovely little projects like these ones here. So whether it's square cards, maybe it's going for uh, DL cards, elongated cards, Again, cutting into your cardstock because that's what the die allows you to do. But then doing your different cards, such as your easels as well, because you use that background die as a backdrop of colour yeah. if you want. So then you can then do your inking over the top as well if you want to, keeping it very simple. 
But then let's go grand within these wow. ones. Wow. You really can do so, so much. Then what about stepper card that we can see here with acetate at the back, or of course, really go that's to town. Funky. I love that one. Card. And that's one here, it also goes to show that all these little die cut hearts that pop out, yeah. keep them uh -huh. and use them because there's lots of different ways in which you can use them. So I think, let's dive straight in. And what I've already got is I've got a piece of our white smooth stamping card. I've already cut this to five and three quarters by five and three quarters. And I say this time and time again, Ben, and that's, although you get the outline die to go with it, very, very rarely do I ever use the outline die. I tend to cut my cardstock to the size I want, like I have done here, and then do my die cutting. But it's handy to have this die if you need it. So let's pop this one into the middle. We are then going to secure it with the low tack tape. And then what I'm also going to do, the Forever Roses. This was the Hunky Dory collection that we had last weekend because it's part of the Hunky Dory's Forever, Forever Florals. Uh -huh. And it's a rose collection. And this die being a rose, I thought, let's take, I'll show you the toppers that I've taken. So we've gone in for the topper and the frame that came together. This one was from Christmas Wishes topper sheet for anyone that wants to know. And what I've done, die cut it. Anything intricate like this, I always like to put my metal shim in just in case, Ben. So taking this one out, let's take my little tool and we can release all these bits and then I'll show you another bit that we're ready to do in the middle to change the centre aperture. Lots of um, love coming in for the show so far, by the way, and Sanj has just asked, um, Ben, are you going to run into work when you've moved? This is mm. a good question. Mm. It's, about, it's about three and a half miles. I would do. The only problem with that, though, is I could I could run that. That's fine. But then I'm going to be hot and sweaty, aren't I? And we haven't got True. Any, there's no showers here. Are there? No. Is there a shower in the other office? Is there? There used to be in the other one upstairs. Yeah. Is it is it still there? Or is it gone? Uh, what? Run home? Yeah, but then, then Charlotte, if back. I run home, if I drive in and run home. Yeah, but but if I run home at the end of the day, then my car's still here, isn't it? And then you can then run in the next. I still have to run back in, so that doesn't solve the problem. I'm happy to run in if you guys are, you know, happy to just have like a, uh, you know, a sweaty, smelly bloke. Well, they won't, they won't smell you, we will. Yeah. Oh, well, I might do them. Sandra, I might do. I might do. <laughs> a biking? Yeah, Johnny, biking's good. Biking, yeah. Yeah, why It's a good one. Do it. Oh, you're a bit too far away for that, Craig, I suppose, aren't you? Yeah. Mm. And you just won't get me running full stop anyway. Or biking? Biking, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I would ride a bike. Mm. Been ages since I've ridden a bike, actually. Have you got one? No, I've not. That's the reason why, then? Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> that's the reason why. <laughs> Might get one of those that does the riding for you. Eh? Oh, one of the electric, electric bikes? Buttons. Oh, yeah. That's the way to do it. That's the way. I could get you a good deal on one of those. I bet you could. <laughs> <laughs> no, those what? are great, though. Sorry, those are great, those bikes, aren't they? Because you, like, you, you pedal a little bit, but then they do a lot of the pedalling for you, don't they? You just like, yeah. kick in and off you go. There's another oh. channel here in the UK that seem to have them on all the time. <laughs> And I'm like, hmm, will I? But then I'm like, no, it defeats the purpose. I suppose yeah. there's a good purpose for them. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'll stick to a traditional bike. <laughs> now, what I've done here is I've taken my die cut, but I want to change this, the aperture. So I've taken the frame and I've gone round with my tacky glue. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to position this into place. And I'm going to get it where I want. Mm -hmm. And with the tacky glue, it gives me a little bit of manoeuvrability. So we can go in. And then once I'm happy with where that is, what I'm then going to go and do is I'm going to go in with my little scissors. And then I'm going to follow the inner part of the frame. We're going to follow it round. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut out the centre piece. So we can cut them out, chop them out. This is then going to create not only 
a different look aperture for the floral frames, but then what it will do as well is it's going to nicely frame your topper or your sentiment or whatever one that you're going to be using. So if I take this one out here, so there we go. So we've got a different aperture frame. That's brilliant. Let's bring in, we've got another bit of black here just to show you because it's white, so it always shows you. There you go. Yeah. See how we've changed that look already? Then what I'm going to do, piece of the coordinated background that came with that same topper sheet, which being the topper sheet was called Christmas Wishes, and it was part of the Forever Florals Christmas, sorry, Festive Rose from Hunky Dory. So let's take this little bit out. And because we've got white here, I want to bring that white into the matte and layer. So I've gone for seven by seven card. My pattern card is six and three quarters by th six and three quarters. And I've left it with that white layer. Then for this one, what I'm then going to do is let's bring in, going to go in with, we've got foam on a roll down here. Foam on a roll, foam on a roll, foam on a roll. Foam on a roll, foam on a roll. Hey! So working our way round. Nothing. With the foam on a roll. Nothing. That's Johnny singing along there. So, oh, you know, I said hello to Johnny and Charlotte, by the way, today, yeah? I, I kind of did at the start, did I not? Did you? No, I, I, let's do it. No, I love saying hi to them. Oh, I, I, I just get know. carried away sometimes. Yeah. Uh, let's do it then. Let's go. Afternoon, Johnny. <laughs> Afternoon, Charlotte. Hi. There you go. That's them. They're back. How many days are you in for? Two days. Yeah, all the best. All the all the best people in for two days this week. Oh, I'm you're not. in for the weekend as well, though, guys, aren't you? Yeah. I'm five days. No, I'm not five days. No, you're days. not five days this I'm, week. I'm four days this week. Yeah. This is my Friday off. Whoop whoop whoop. The other part time, <laughs> Charlotte just said, "You what do you have a, a, a one Friday every month off?" Yes. Yeah. It was actually meant to be last Friday. Yeah. That's all right, isn't it? But nice. Just lets me recharge the batteries a little yeah. bit. Gives me a, a long weekend off. So Lovely it's nice. Stuff. So here, so I've popped my frame on at the background card, popped my sentiment within the middle. Yeah. Then still using the die and the stamp that comes with it. And what I've also done is I've made a little rose from Sarah's signature rose garden collection. Okay. So let's go in to here. So let's pop that one there. And then we can finish off by doing best. And I'm going to tuck that into there. So we've got best. And then let's bring in friends. And this would be the sort of card that I would give you, Ben, at Christmas time. Oh, you. So let's go in to there. Little cutie. And then there you go. You wouldn't necessarily think mm. that that one could then become a Christmas card, in which it has done. So if we bring that one up, just goes to show that you can 100% change the look, change the aperture, change the outline, but yeah. then of course change the occasion as well. Nothing stopping you from being Christmas if you wanted to. So that is now part of the Gemini Frame Stamp and Die Collection where you've got the four piece, but in total it's 43 elements, including the stamp as well as the dies. So again, these are going to be coming up in Monday Makers with myself and Ben. Today's price being $48.97 or $56.85, but if you are platinum, that then comes down to $39.18 or $45.48 for you guys across in the United States of America. Lots of love for that demo. Uh, Marge is saying, and I assume that she is meaning about the little frame that you used within the frame. She wants to know where that frame came from, the little uh, frame that you used. That I don't know if you said or if you can remember. Uh, Craig, where is the frame? The frame within the frame. The frame within the frame. So yeah. it's still the, the hunky dory topper sheet. Right. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, hunky dory topper sheet. Came with the sentiment. Uh, brilliant. Uh, Pamela is saying, love these frames. They are on my wish list. Uh, and a few of you just singing along uh, to the song about the, uh, the sticky stuff on the circular thing. 
at 39 pounds and 18 pence is the platinum price on this 45 pounds and 48 pence and don't forget if you are new to us if you haven't yet made that first purchase and you love the idea of this collection particularly if you join us in club inspire it's really easy to do on the website it's literally a couple of bits of information bam you're there uh, you get 250 points to get you started and you'll also get your first purchase with 20 percent off so that means this price will be applicable to you as well so it's always worth uh, joining up something else which you might want to get your mitts on today which you're going to be seeing a little bit later on is our connecting sentiment stamp and die collection uh, this is brilliant and it is literally just that you've got a whole range of beautiful um, sentiments there uh, that you can cut straight into your card and it's brilliant how these works because again how these works how these work uh, because they, they are all connected top to bottom on your cards and you look and think how on earth does this work uh, but the engineering behind these I think is just brilliant you've got things in there like thanks uh, you have got good luck there. You've got birthday, celebrate. Um, so, so super simple to create uh, real standout cards. And once again, you've got corresponding stamps with those as well to create some really beautiful sentiments. Normally, 63.92 or uh, 87.60. Uh, everyone saves 7.99 or 10.67 today. But Platinum members, again, it's that extra 20% off, which makes these a real steal. £44.74 for Platinum or $61.54. Uh, and again, if you want to get ahead of the game, you can grab those right now. Or we'll be showing those to you in more detail uh, a little bit later on, on uh, Monday Makers, coming to you at 7 o'clock here in the UK, 2 o'clock East Coast, uh, 11 o'clock on the West Coast coast uh, lots of love for the show so far we've still got another oh just less than 20 minutes to go we'll get your vote for the demo of the show going in just a little while but before that we're going to have a look at the uh, cute character box dies collection uh, 73 elements in total here and again if you're looking for an absolute bargain deal today 20 pounds or 28 dollars if you're platinum uh, refresh our memories on these craig if we've uh, not seen these before Okay, Doc, so I'll tell you what then, let's do that. Let's do the flip, re flip reverse. Let's show you the finished samples and then we'll show you the boards as to what you're going to get. Now, it's going to enable you to make three different kind of character concepts. Yeah. Now, within this one here, again, they all fold flat, but then when you open them up, in a similar way of the first demo we've done where it allows you to create a scene. Yeah. So you can create your scene. This one has got the fairies as well as the unicorns within this one. All of this one we're away to uh, create in a moment. But then we've got the woodland one where we've got the deers and the little bunny rabbits. There's more layers in that one, is there? And uh, yes, there yeah. is. So you've got two panels that we'll show you just in a minute to pop in, mm -hmm. but you can completely customise that by adding more if you want. So there's that one. Then what we've got is the little cute cuddly teddy bears, and that's actually what we're going to be using. So we've got the cuddly bears there. So let's go back and show you another one each. So this one, this is a different concept. So it's as if it's been made into a box. Yeah and a box lid, but it has been sealed, and it's a little diorama that you've got there. That's really cute. Little, you could feed little battery-operated lights, you know, just out the side of it, mm. and then that would look, look really well. Then here's another concept, this one being with the woodland animals that we can see here. So another different concept, once again, fold and flat. And then one more with the teddy bears, you can see. So you can keep it as simple as you want. You can then go in with your inking backgrounds, your technique backgrounds. What you can then do is use your pattern papers and that as well. So much you can do. And each of them, you get a different shaped aperture die. So for instance, this one here with all of the woodland animals, what we've got here is we've got this square, but with the rounded edge. Mm -hmm. And then what we've got up into here, we have got the deer and we've got the little bunny rabbit and uh, we've got a like, little squirrel there. But then what you've got is you've got the trees <laughs> as well. Bottom left, this one there. That's a little, it's a little tree, tree stump, stump, isn't it? It's a, definitely a tree stump. Yeah. Charlotte, it's not what you thought it not was. Not what Charlotte thought it was. <laughs> then we've got the teddy bears. So all of them, exactly the same idea, but each of them have got a different aperture. For instance, Aww. you can see that there. But you can mix and match if Oh, they're all interchangeable, right? Yeah. yeah, of course you can. Mm -hmm. No problem at all. Then this one, again, you've got the stamps, but you've got the dies to go with it. Yeah. Then on this one, you have got the unicorn and the fairy, the butterfly, the toadstool. Same concept once again, 
another different aperture that you can see at the bottom, but in each of them you also get some sentiments as well, different sentiments. So all of that when it's a cute character box uh, die and stamp collection. So 73 elements in total, that's combining the stamps with the dies as well within that full set. £25 here in the UK, $35. Platinum, it comes down to £20 or $28. And what I just think is a brilliant way to actually use these and create these and to bring the cost right down is to actually make the box. What we've done within the actual packaging, it's a paper template that you're going to fold, uh, you're going to create, you're going to fold. That's what's going to make the box. Yeah. And by doing that, what you're going to do, a few different ways in which you can do it, draw around it or you can measure it yourself if you want to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with, let's do a pen just so that you can see. I'm going in our white smooth stamping card. Now this one here is we're going to need two of these ones. So what I'm going to do, Ben, is I'm going to do a few little lines just to give myself as a guide. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go into the corners down here. What I'm also going to do is put a little line there and there. That tells me that's where I'm going to have to put my score lines. Yeah. So what I'm then going to do, to do it both at once, I'm going to go in. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to cut right up to that line because I'm going to sandwich two bits of cardstock together. Uh -huh. So let's go in now to this side. So what I'm doing is I'm following each of the lines but then what I'm also doing is because I've got two pieces of card, I'm cutting two at the same time. So I can go up into here. Now what I want to do first and foremost, I don't want to cut this bit off just yet because I won't see my little, my little guides, my yeah. little lines. Now again, you will potentially be doing this in pencil at home. I'm doing pen so that you can see. So then here we go. So we've now got two of them. So that's either using your scissors or your uh, guillotine. We can then come in with our scoreboard, or of course use the scoreboard that's on the guillotine. I'm going to bring in my scoring tool. And then all that I'm going to do is I'm going to come up, I'm going to score where I've put my little line. Got you. So I can come all the way down. So I just need to move that a smidge. So that template's included in the packs, is it you say? So it is, right, yeah. Okay. And you get one in each of the packs. Yeah. So what I would be inclined to do, and I've actually done it within one of them, Ben, yeah. and that is uh, laminating. Yeah, it's a good idea. So you've got a more tat tatty, isn't it? Well, that's it. It just makes it more sturdy as well. Yeah. So there's two that I've got now. So I've scored in the lines that I need to. And then I need to do one more, but at a different shape. And I'll show you this one. So here, we need to do one of these. This is what's actually going to create the door. So what I'm then going to do is let's bring this one in again. So I'm going to pop that to the side. This is where, there's a number of different ways that you can do this, Ben. I'm doing it this way so I can show you in black. So what I'm doing is put my little lines in so we can cut these ones so cut we can then cut and then all that I need to do let's use our lines on this one let's score so we can now assemble our shadow box it resembles us but what we need to do first and foremost is we need to come in with one of these so it gives us an idea of where we're going and this will then you'll soon see it come to shape. See how if we pop these together, this is where our box is going to come in. Oh yeah. So you can see from up above, that's how the box is looking. But what I need to do is in one of them, I need to put my little aperture. So this front one is going to be the frame, uh -huh. or the front, sorry. So in here, let's go in with the die, and I'm going to pop this one in. And it's all been sized perfectly. So you've got the square, there we go. So if we secure that into place there and there, and this will go through your junior, it'll go through your midi, and some of these smaller ones that you can see here, they're gonna go through your mini as well. 
So there's going to be a nice selection of different uh, machines that's going to go through. And your minis, you get you got a good deal this week as well. Mm -hmm. good, good Tom, one. jump in and grab that. Details coming up on your screen. Here it comes. In a second. Any moment now. Here it comes. No, don't put that on the screen, Charlotte. Here it comes now. Uh, there we go. Seamless. 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 That's good. We're professional today, aren't That's we? That's what eh? I was just about to say there. Who says <laughs> we're not professional, eh? <laughs> so oh. here, what I've got is I've got my aperture with it in the middle. So if I pop them back this way, you'll see how it comes together here. So you can see, see how it comes. But what I'm going to do, Ben, yeah. so if I do it this way, so that, see how the seam of this card, this tab is here. Mm -hmm. So what that does is that enables you then to start to create the box. But what I want to do is I actually want to hide the working of this door. Yeah. So if I pop that to the side, now although we're going to cover it within cardstock, can you see how this would be seen yeah. on that side? So what I'm going to do is let's go in with our tape. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to trim this one down. Now you can use your guillotine, but I'm just going to use my scissors for speed. And all that I want is I want to make this wide enough so that when I tuck this behind, it's not going to be seen within the aperture. So if I pop that one there, then that means now there is the door on the front. And when I come along to add my adhesive on there and then there, we are going to get a nice, crisp, clean connection for the door. Oh, uh, okay. So let's turn it that way so we can create the box. So turn that one there. And then as I fold that one back in, what we can then do is position that there and there. We've hidden the workings of the door. So we can see now there is That's brilliant. our little worker. So yeah. I'm just going to rub off that little bit of adhesive. And we will be having a look at these in Monday Makers, so we'll be doing full-on demo within Monday Makers. But then what you can also do is within the packaging, yeah. you get, again, in paper form, you also get these little tabs. Yes. So all that you're going to do is cut, you've got a straight one, and then you've also got one where you've got this wave. So you can then come along, so let's add our adhesive, onto each bit. How many can you put in each card? Is it a couple? You could put, we, well, within our instructions, we put two in. Yeah. But there is no guide as to such as to how many you want to pop in. So if you want to put a few in, you can do. You know, you can do three, four. Mm -hmm. you, only thing you need to keep in mind is obviously oh, by folding fold them it. in mm -hmm. and as to where they're going to go. But yeah, go for it. Try putting a few in. And then once again, I'm going to then pop this one in. I'm going to pop it in at a bit of a different angle. So if I set that one there. And you might find it easier popping these ones in before you assemble the box. Yeah. I actually find it easier by doing it while the box is assembled, because it gives me some place to look. It gives me the right place as to where I'm going to position it. So we can then pop that in straight. So if I bring it in this way, can you see how you're starting to get that dimension yeah. within the slopes? That's brilliant. Then what I can start to do is then we can then come in and we can start to decorate. I've got these pattern papers, but then what we've also got is let's bring in some card stock, either Nina or White Smooth Stamping Card, and then we can start to uh, stamp out a few of these little cute characters. Are we, just for time's sake, is this going to be included in the demo of the show boat, by the way, Johnny? I've got a finished one. Oh, we've got a finished one. So, well, actually, do you want to do it now? Well, I'm just thinking, because the time has whizzed by. I know it is, um, isn't it? We've got just, what, about seven minutes left. So should we just quickly get the vote going now? Let's do it. And then it's done, isn't it? That's it. So remind us what you made. So number one, we made with the 3D scenes. Okay. Coming up with N Colour Me Happy. 
So this is the one that we've done first of all, 3D scenes. Mm -hmm. Then what we've done is we've done our floral stamp and die, so this one being number two. Ooh, yep. And then this would be what the third one ends up looking like, number three. So all right. one, two, or three. You've got about five minutes to get your vote in um, on those, and of course we'll put the winner forward for the uh, demo of the day. Of course we will have a Craig win today, because Craig is here all day with us. Right. Um, Back to where you were, sorry to interrupt. No problem at all. So what I've done already, so I'll just uh, take this bit out, Ben, as I've stamped and coloured the little teddy bears in. So when I've done is I've done muted brown, light green, dark red and gold yellow. That was from my tri-blend. Uh -huh. And you can see here. So then what I would do is let's bring in our dies. These are then going to match. So we can pop them ones over do that one there so by simply popping them through and then this is or these are the ones that are going to go through your mini oh yes by doing them all individual you can see how well that they would then die cut and you know what because we're right against time what we'd then do die cut them ones out yeah and then where's my finished one popped it somewhere here we go the year, all that you're going to do is you're going to start to layer up, super simple, by popping them into the middle here. I love it. So by layering them up, we've got a couple of teddy bears, we've got one on the front, we've got the uh, presents as well as the balloons. Keeping in mind, this is part of what's coming up in Monday Maker, so yes. we will do step-by-step -step demo when it comes to these cute character box, because these are part of the cute character stamp and die collection. Getting 73 elements in total, because you've got the dies, the aperture dies, as well as the character dies, but you've got the stamps. When you've got stamps, always keep in mind your Pebio masking gum as well as your sheets and that because you could be using them on their own if you want. You don't just have to use them in the concept way that they're designed for. Use them elsewhere if you want. But then the, today's price being £25 or $35, which is a cracking price as it is, if it is platinum that you're in, that comes all the way down to £20 or $28. Crafterscompanion.co.uk.com.eu, always the place you need to go. I would say one of the most important weeks to check out is always a Monday because we've got some new offers, we've seen the new Get It Got It Good, always check along the tabs that run along the top not just for new products but new downloads and that that appear every now and again so you can check them ones out but this one's what's coming up Monday Maker 7 o'clock here in the UK, 2pm Eastern Time at 11am Pacific Time yeah, I love that collection. And again, it's one of those really versatile collections for a, a low price, particularly if this is your first buy today as well. It's one of those um, collections that you'll be able to use for lots of different people and you'll be able to use in lots of different circumstances as well. We've touched on the Mini quite a bit in this show too. And the Mini is our Get It Got It Good deal this week as well. And um, it's a really fab deal is this, because if you buy the Mini um, and the, uh, the folder and the shim, we are giving you the uh, bag for free with this deal as well. And it's so, so happy. Handy, as I say, uh, particularly for um, kits like this, for those smaller dies that we say around about 70% of your dies you'll be able to get um, into the machine. But for 29.58 today, or 44.68 if you're a platinum member, um, it really is a super little machine to get you started, or as a kind of a um, like an interim machine. You know, if you have got your electronic machine, you don't always need to use it. You don't always want to use it. If you're looking for something more portable, that is a really great buy, and to get the storage bag with it as well is fantastic. That deal runs uh, for the whole of this week or whilst stocks last. Uh, right, well, we will still wait for the um, demo of the uh, show vote coming in, but we have got a busy old day coming up. Uh, do you want to remind us what's coming up, mister? Let's go for it. Let's do so. Earlier on, we showed you the uh, 3D scenes. That's what's going to be the craft along with myself. So we're going to use them in the concept way, but then we're going to incorporate them onto a little bit of a twisted easel card. So that's going to be a good one for you to then uh, follow along if you so want. Slip. <laughs> so that is the craft along, 3 o'clock here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. Pacific Time. Then myself and Ben, we're going to come back again because it's me and Ben and Johnny and Charlotte all day today whoop, whoop, whoop. and tomorrow, although I'm not the 3 o'clock show tomorrow, but you've got us all. That's tomorrow. This is going to be Monday Maker, 7 o'clock here in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern Time or 11 a.m. Pacific Time, where we're going to have a look at these cute characters again. We're going to look at the floral frames as well. Got a nice little selection, whether it's die cutting, stamping, nice little touch that we've got coming up within Monday Makers later on today. 
And I can tell you we do have a winner on the demo of the show. Three Fabo demos today, really love them. But the winner is, drum roll. <laughs> Number two. Ta -da! Uh, that's fab. Love that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. So that is the one that you uh, have voted for. Uh, we will put that forward for the demo of the day. Yes. And you, you are guaranteed a win today. Are you the current champion? Did I hear them? Uh, the guy say. Uh, so I, I won. I noticed Becky tagged me in Insta story and I shared it. So I, I won demo of the month. Demo of the month. Demo of the now. month. Is that, oh, I didn't. I didn't realise that was a thing. Oh, is it demo of the week? Though? Is it just? I thought there was a demo of the month. Oh. Oh, hang on. Bernie won Demo of the Month. You won Demo of the Week, apparently. Oh, right. OK. Oh, well. Yeah. And that was with, uh, funny enough, that was with the craft along with the gnomes. Uh, so that one won that one. So there we go. So it goes to show that even the craft along items then could be winners. Mm. Uh, well, lots to look forward to. As we said, um, it's a jam-packed day. If you want to get involved with that Craft Along as well, the uh, award-nominated Craft Along, then you can check out. If you go to our social media channels in between, if you've already got um, the, the kit, then get to our social media channels. You'll see everything that you need. It's all listed there for you. You can get everything ready and you can get crafting along with us. And like Craig was saying earlier on, it's nice actually because you can follow it right to the letter because we craft along at kind of uh, you know normal pace. But then if you decide to just take it out of the box a little bit, change things up, you've got the ability to do that as well. But hopefully you'll get involved with us. And hopefully by the end of the show, we'll have lots of your photos coming in to see what you've all been up to. 100% going to be another good one i cannot wait for this one here so go and get myself sorted go and grab some to eat as well and then we'll be back three o'clock 10 a.m or 7 a.m eastern time we were going to have fun with that craft along and crafters tv go and grab yourself a cup of a drink your lunch your breakfast your tea wherever you are and come back and join us for the craft along see you then bye, bye.